Like daffodils, tulips are an iconic flowering spring bulb, filling gardens with color well before most other flowering plants have gained momentum. They are among the oldest cultivated plants and have been hybridized to produce just about every color except for true blue. The plants have two to six broad, strappy leaves with a waxy coat that gives them a blue-green color. Most tulips have one flower per stem, but a few are multi-flowering. There are literally thousands of different types of tulips spread over 15 official classifications based on flower shape, height, and time of bloom. The flowers are usually cup-shaped, with three petals and three sepals, but within this general description, there is a wide variety, including types with ruffled, fringed, and fully double blossoms that look more like peonies than tulips. In most regions, tulip bulbs are generally planted in the fall, where they will then receive the winter chill required for them to bloom in the spring. Once they emerge from the ground, tulips grow and flower quickly. In cold winter climates, they typically emerge in March and begin flowering in April to May. Although tulips are perennial bulbs, many hybrid types tend to be rather short-lived. Keeping a massive display of tulips requires planting additional bulbs each fall for the following spring's showcase. Like other plants in the Liliaceae, Lily, family, tulip bulbs contain alkaloid and glycoside compounds that are mildly toxic to humans and more seriously toxic to pets. In addition to causing gastrointestinal symptoms if the bulbs are consumed, tulip bulbs can cause a skin rash sometimes known as tulip fingers when handled. Tulip care. Tulips grow best as perennials in climates with moist, cool-to-cold winters and warm, dry summers. Plant the bulbs 4 to 8 inches deep in the fall, a depth about 3 times the size of the bulbs, in a sunny location with well-drained soil. Because they sprout and bloom so early in the spring, tulips can work well beneath trees and shrubs that will leaf out to create shady conditions later in the season. Space the bulbs 2 to 5 inches apart, depending on their size, with the pointy end facing up. Tulips tend to display best if planted in groups of about 10 bulbs. Tulips are sometimes grown as annuals, especially the hybrid varieties. In this case, you can dig up and discard the bulbs after blooming is complete, then plant summer flowers in their place. Tulips are quite easy to grow for gardeners in cool-slash-cold winter regions, but hybrid types do need to be divided every few years to keep them from declining. Light. All varieties of tulips prefer full sun. Remember, though, that areas under deciduous trees that are shady in the summer are mostly sunny in the early spring when tulips are actively growing. Thus, these spaces can be excellent spaces to grow tulips and other spring bulbs. Soil. Tulips prefer rich, well-draining soil with a pH that is neutral to slightly acidic. Mixing in compost can improve drainage and provide nutrients to the bulbs. Ideally, do this before planting the bulbs. Otherwise, you can apply a few inches of compost over the soil to encourage earthworms to tunnel into the soil, improving circulation and tilth. Water. Water the bulbs thoroughly immediately after you plant them, but after this, withhold watering except during extended dry spells. If your region gets some rain every week or two, don't water your tulips at all. In arid regions, watering every two weeks is recommended. Temperature and humidity. Tulips thrive in regions with cool to cold winters and dry, warm summers, conditions found through much of USDA zones 3 to 8. They require 12 to 14 weeks of temperatures below 55 degrees Fahrenheit in order to bloom, so in regions with warm winter temperatures, they must be planted as annuals from suppliers who pre-chill the bulbs. Tulips tend to do better in dry regions rather than humid climates since high humidity usually goes hand in hand with lots of spring and summer rain, which can cause bulbs to rot. Fertilizer. Add some compost, bone meal, or granular fertilizer to the planting hole when you plant the tulip bulbs. Feed them again the following spring when they sprout again. Other than this, no additional feeding is necessary.